I'm Annie Duke. In middle position, we can comfortably think about opening the pot with a wider range of hands than we would in early position. While we still don't want to be getting too crazy with our starting hand selections, there's also no reason to play like a complete rock either. With fewer people left to act behind us, the chances of someone holding a monster hand decreases as our position improves. The monsters may still be out there, of course, but the odds of running into one just aren't quite so high. Assuming we're the first person to act that everybody has folded to us, we have much more latitude when it comes to our range of opening hands. We're still obviously playing and raising with all of the hands that we play in early position, but now we can also open up our range. The hands we can add into our range include pairs like fives and sixes, as well as hands like king-queen, king-jack suited, and ace-ten suited. If we're not the first person in the pot, we can also think about calling an opponent's pre-flop raise with any of the hands that we would play in early position, as well as most pairs, in order to see if we can make a big hand on the flop like a set. If you're opening the pot in middle position, be sure to play close attention to your opponent's images and stack sizes. How will you react if you get re-raised by an opponent with a bigger stack? Will you call if a short-stacked opponent shoves all in over your raise? Is your opponent loose or tight? Also, remember that it takes a stronger hand to call a raise than it does to make a raise yourself. This means if an opponent raises from early position, you should think twice about playing a hand like king-queen, king-queen suited, ace-ten, ace-ten suited, ace-jack, because it can easily be dominated by most of the hands in your opponent's range. Finally, remember that if you call an opponent's raise from early position, you are giving the players behind you better odds to enter the pot with a wider range of hands. Think about how your hand will play if you're in a multi-way pot after the flop, and be careful about getting too attached to your cards if you should flop something that's marginal, like just top pair.